the keypad. As you can see the button missing and it's got the water when it went inside it's not working and the keypads are working. The laptop today we're working as ASU EEPC. Okay, let's just begin. That's the new keyboard I bought. First thing what you do is take the battery out. Four screws at the back of the, behind the battery, so we're going to take it all out. Look, this four screws are actually holding the keypad on the other side. Okay, let's put the batteries, the screws on one side. Now let's turn it over. actually got clips so what you do is like you use this tool just to it's got a little just little clicks that's holding it to the rest of it so slowly don't put too much pressure on it so you can break the teeth and later on it's not gonna it's not gonna sit that's the way you like it Back to where it was. Okay, let's do it on this side now. Just slowly. Not too much pressure. As you can see, once you lift one bit up, and the rest will just come back. Will just come out. So. There you go. Put this one on the side. And here's the keypad. There you go, keypad just lifts up. What you do is just remove the connection. So you can see the connection is there, just holding the two teeth. Let's use my tool again. Just lift it up and just pull it out of place. There you go. Now the other one, same thing, just the way, as you can see, the way they folded it. So it makes it easy for you to put it back in. So as you come, it comes the other way. So we just fold the flex and make a sticker. So what you do is you pull the sticker. So it actually holds the flex. Move this other side. Okay, just bend it over. Put the flex. You see the sticker? It actually sticks on the keypad. So then just bend it halfway. Just exactly the way it is the other one. The way you removed it. So you don't want to bend it too much. There you go. Then now let's just try to put it. Then just close the teeth to hold the flex back down. There you go. And now just slide it back in. There you go. Then just use the same thing. And this will actually hold it down. So clips again.
back in. Actually, I have three screws. This one screw is already. Keyboard didn't replace this one because they're not missing one screw. There you go. Now let's slide the battery back in. There you go. There you go. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Thanks. <laughs>